Yo yo, what's up everybody? Hi, we show no Shono des. This is Ramen Creator Tomoharu Shono. I am the Ramen Beast, and we are in the central kitchen of Mencho in Kokuji, Tokyo. Today we are going to make Jiro style ramen. We have washi washi style noodles that were made in the noodle room right there about 30 minutes ago. For Jiro, we want thick style noodles that washi washi means they're hard, they have a bite to them, they're not going to be soft. And then typical Jiro style is a rich, salty, fatty tonkotsu shoyu soup piled with bean sprouts, cabbage, and optional garlic. Noodles are going in. So yeah, when did Jiro the first Jiro shop open? Do you know Shono? 1968. Oh man. Yeah, it's impressive. 1968 was when the first shop opened, and now there are almost 40 or 50, including many imitators and inspired shops. Yeah, another interesting and uh, kind of unique point to Jiro style is the thick cut pork chashu. Extra thick. In this case, we're going to use shoulder. The first step in the bowl is to add the tare. 40 cc's of tare sauce. Yeah, so we have the pork chashu that has been stewing in this shoyu soy sauce, tare sauce. That is the tare sauce we're going to use in the ramen. Uh, not clear, creamy, milky pork kotsu. It's made from genkotsu, which are the pork femur bones. About 300 cc's of soup. Lays up the noodles, and now he's going to pile up with bean sprouts and cabbage that have been boiled for about a minute or so. They'll ask you, Do you want garlic? And that's when you can say, Yes, I want garlic, or you can order extra bean sprouts, extra pork back fat. Extra tare sauce. Do with the garlic? Yes, please. Yep, and then the final point is to put a little bit of pork back fat on top of the bowl, say apra. Some shops use more than others. Today we're going extra, say apra. Usually you can get this bowl for like 600 yen, 700 yen, which is maybe why a lot of college kids go for it. But, um, the original Jiro stop is still in operation. There are now about 40 to 50 Jiro shops, mostly in Tokyo. What makes Jiro unique is that all it takes to open a Jiro shop is to work at one and then have the blessing of the owner. You don't have to pay like franchise fees, so it's actually a really unique concept. There are people that clone this style and have shops that are Jiro inspired, that aren't even ramen Jiro. And in some cases, those shops are better than ramen Jiro itself. So it's really a fascinating style that just came out of one shop organically and that was a legion of followers, an absolute legion. So let's get into it. Some Jiro shops don't have spoons, no napkins, no toothpicks. You're on your own, just chopsticks in the bowl, and it is messy. So, you just have to get aggressive. Shono, itadakimasu. Enjoy! Thank you. Let's, let's get it. So another thing that's famous about Jiro is the quantities of toppings. When you order extra vegetables, you can order, you can say mashi mashi, or yasai mashi, and actually get like, double the pile or triple the pile. Um, but if you order that and you can't finish it, bad for it. So I don't recommend it unless you can beast out. Chono-san, what's up? What's up? How's it going? Awesome time today. How about you? Yeah, great. So thank you for joining us. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel and look in the comments. 
comments below if you want to come to Tokyo to the Nihon Ramen Academy and learn how to make ramen with us.